back to Eye in the Sky Drones, where we do drone tech videos, DJI related products. And I wanted to talk about something you've probably heard about if you've been in the market for one of these. This is the Mavic 3. When this was released, it was talked about, it didn't have all its features, it wasn't ready. And then we had the horrendous GPS signal block. Sometimes it took some people five minutes, six minutes, seven minutes for this thing to catch satellites in the home point. But with the most recent update, all of that has been fixed, yes. The home point time is quicker now and they've added a bunch of new features. So the question is, when you now pick up the Mavic 3, it's more of a complete item, it's more of a complete drone. I'm gonna show you some of the new features of the Mavic 3. We'll go through a quick run through because I know you've probably seen plenty of videos with all of the new features and new things added. But I'm just gonna go over it briefly just to, so you can see what's new, what you may like, and is it something you will be getting now that is updated. Okay, here's the most notable thing we want to look at. This is the time it takes us to get a home point. The home this point is a big difference, a much needed difference, and we're getting home point much quicker with this new update. First, the biggest thing that everybody was waiting for was the home point lock. It took a while for home points to lock. Now with this new update, home points lock in 30 seconds to a minute. Um, sometimes quicker than that, and you're off in the air flying. No more have to wait. No more sitting there letting the shot pass you by. You now can get the home point. The new update also offers a HLG color profile. That's in addition to the Mavic 3. It also gives you the ability to jump straight to the seven times zoom of the telephoto camera without having to go through the other zoom functions. Another thing they did was they gave you more control over the telephoto lens. You can change some of the camera settings for the telephoto lens and that's something you couldn't do before. They changed the button layout on the controller so now you don't have to tap explore mode and hit one, two, three or for your zoom. You could jump right into the best zoom offered, which is the seven times magnification. And you could just jump straight to that. They've added extra support for focus track and tracking. That's always wonderful. And they also, for active track, they added a new feature called the nifty feature. Um, when you're in active track, it does give a warning, a disclaimer, that your drone may <laughs> come close to crashing in this feature. It, ha it says it has more cinematic moves and more flow of creation. I guess this is their way of competing with the Skydio 2. Another thing they did with the Mavic 3 is they tried to make hyperlapses more smooth. <laughs> I love hyperlapses, as you can tell, but they tried to refine it, so they added some more AI to it. So now your hyper action, hyperlapses should be a little bit better. They added some extra features for the Sunny one where they can do one second hyperlapses as well. All right, so now that that update is here, what are you gonna do if you have a Mavic 3? I, I'm pretty sure you're loving them, you're loving the extra features loving all the new stuff you can do with it. If you don't have the Mavic 3 and you were holding out because you heard all of the bad stuff about the Mavic 3, now's the time to get it. This drone is more of a complete drone. And I don't think they're finished. There's still some more updates coming out of the way. Um, I've flown a few times now. I don't know if AirSense is back working. I know AirSense wasn't working for a while. So I have to still test it out to see if it's working. I haven't gotten an alert yet, but then again, there were no planes in the area. If AirSense isn't working, I'm pretty sure there'll be another update in the future that brings AirSense back to this, this drone. Well, thank you for watching. I hope you liked the video. I hope you liked the information about the Mavic 3. Always be safe and have fun flying. If you liked it, subscribe, and I'll see you next time.